Today, we'll look at the Centre Pompidou in the city of Paris. It's a cultural and art centre in the Marais district on Place Beaubourg in Paris, designed by the team of Rinzo Piano and Richard Rogers. The ultimate goal is to produce a reading of the centre that is ideological, to understand the architecture as a, as a mapping and a representation of a historical moment and a political condition. On the one hand, the center was inspired by post-1968 philosophies of collectivity and community. But on the other hand, the project was an interpretation of new cybernetic theories of information and organization, avant-garde theatrical principles, cutting edge technology, and a completely new attitude toward urbanism and the practice of urban space. The ultimate goal was a building that would support and represent freedom and change in direct response to the desires of its users. The concept of architectural imagination gives us a way of articulating the relationship between sort of everyday perceptual uh, events, perceptual habits and conventions, just the kind of uh, attitudes about being in the world and the relationship of that between the context, which is usually the city, but also the social historical context of those experiences. So we, we can think about it as two levels. There's, the first level is existential and subject-centered. It's just how we as individuals or as a collective are, are in the world and, and that existential being in the world. The other, which is really history itself, is, is sort of deep structural. It, it, it concerns the, the sort of objective um, conditions of possibility for how we can be in the world. In other words, different historical moments, different, different times, different contexts uh, uh, allow ways of thinking in a certain way, allow ways of behaving in a certain way, but, but those ways are, are shifting through, through time. If we can give uh, an account of the context, if we can construct the context with enough robustness, with enough sort of dynamism, then we can, uh, uh, and if you think about and still continuing to think about the idea of architectural imagination, we can see the building, we can interpret the building uh, as an active mediator uh, between the context and our individual experiences. So, so, so a building, because it deals with space, it deals with material, it even deals with uses and, and activities in time, can be uh, uh, not just an inert object, but an active mediator between its historical context and our understanding of that context. So what we want to do now is to think about the Pompidou Center in the city of Paris at a particular moment in time as a kind of representation, as a kind of registration, and is actually helping us produce an understanding of a very particular moment in history.